Our Earth, viewed here from above, seems unassailable. Everything in motion, every part united with the whole, nothing without meaning. But if you look more closely, the Earth has changed, not least by us human beings. We humans are the ones who are pushing this planet to its limits. Though nature can also display its incredible power, against the folly of mankind, it is soon powerless. But we human beings learn, we research, we invent, we make progress on the way to a future that will bring us in harmony with nature, with our Earth. In order for that to happen, the people of the Fraunhofer Institute for Silicate Research, ISC for short, have defined the goal of solving some of these urgent tasks of humanity. I'm here today to see more clearly what progress has been made. Come with me. Fraunhofer ISC is an institution of applied research and development in the realm of materials and processes. Key areas of focus are energy, environment, and health, as well as cutting-edge technologies, such as biological transformation, materials development, digitization or process technology, and analytics. The Institute has a more than 90-year history. Today, there are about 500 employees who use their knowledge and passion so that humanity will soon be able to answer the pressing questions of climate change and CO2 emissions, environmental degradation, individual mobility, excessive utilization of energy and natural resources and the healthcare concerns of an aging population. Fraunhofer ISC's branch offices, project teams and application centers can be found in three federal states. Bavaria, Hesse and Baden-Württemberg. Here at the main office in Würzburg, I am pursuing the question of what exactly ISC is researching, for example in the area of energy. Through the development of newer, more integrated energy storage solutions, the researchers at ISC are getting electromobility moving. To do that, they concern themselves with functional materials for efficient and reliable next-generation batteries. And they are doing it here in Germany. I like that. Another research focus is manufacturing methods for the production of new types of solid-state lithium-ion fuel cells. And beyond that, new materials for smart energy transformation are being researched here at ISC. But even that is not enough. The people of ISC are also working on increasing energy efficiency in manufacturing, particularly in industrial thermal processes and in energy conversion. The more energy efficient that industrial production becomes, the less expensively companies can produce, and the more competitive they will be, and with lower CO2 emissions. To accomplish all that is a research focus of the Fraunhofer Center for High Temperature Lightweight Construction, HTL, in Bayreuth. The second major focus area is the environment. And since ISC specializes in research and development of new materials, they work here in particular on the next and following generations. So biocompatible and biodegradable materials come to the fore. And it is high time. Used in the right way, new biodegradable packaging materials can help solve a large part of our current plastic waste problem. Therefore, here at Fraunhofer ISC, we are developing better, environmentally friendly and highly functional bioplastics, as well as the recycling processes and closed recycled material loops of the future. For example, through the reuse of photovoltaic modules or high-performance magnets for wind energy installations. That is happening at the Fraunhofer project team IWKS of ISC in Alzenau, Bavaria and Hanau Hess, which is developing intelligent recycling technologies and substitutes for critical and increasingly scarce raw materials with the help of the most modern facilities and highly specialized experts. And very successfully. Health is the third major focus area of research and development at Fraunhofer ISC. 
It is difficult for me to say what fascinates me the most. Every single area of research excites me. The development of affordable, individualized medical treatments for a growing world population, or the avoidance of animal testing with new testing systems, and especially the development of regenerative therapies in biomedicine, for example through tissue-based implants that contribute to a completely new quality of life for patients. And that is just the beginning. The 500 researchers under the direction of Professor Dr. Gerhard Sextel know very well that they work on the urgent questions of humanity. And that motivates them every day. With their work, they create the basis for further areas of research, such as digital production, biomedicine, and stem cell technology, for efficient energy conversion and future mobility, for new generations of computers, as well as the protection of our cultural heritage for the generations to come. We have no time to lose. Fraunhofer, ISC.